A decade old census rule is now overturned and allows deployed military members to be counted in the places they live. WNCT's Elizabeth Two tells us what this means for our eastern military communities. Since the Vietnam era, communities haven't been able to include deployed military members on their censuses, and it's created quite an impact on the Jacksonville community. Instead, cities were using a rule which counted deployed military members at their home of record instead of where they were currently stationed. Under the new rule, Marines and sailors aboard Camp Lejeune will now be counted in Jacksonville census, even if currently deployed. Assistant City Manager Glenn Hargett says the old rule discounted the service of our military members, which doesn't fit in with the way of thinking in the city. In, in much the way that people in the past were not fully and wholly counted, um, the one city concept says everybody's important. And this one really um, detracted from that. Locally, 20,000 people were not included in the 2010 census, which meant the city also lost out on funding that is used on improving roadways and schools. On average, about $1,660 per person per year. And the first time the new rule will be applied will be for the 2020 census, which begins in April of that year. In Jacksonville, Elizabeth Hugh, 9 on your side.